So all good things must come to an end, guys. I had my white truck for two and a half years, and I loved every second of owning it. But when I saw the 2019 Ram, I knew that I had to go for that one. I've been waiting for like seven months now for this thing to finally come out, and the time has come, and there's my new truck, guys. The white one is gone, and we have the black beauty now. I know a lot of you guys are going to be missing my white truck, especially Big Boy, because, you know, he went out there and actually bought a white truck, the same exact model as mine, because he was so influenced by my white truck. And you know what? Big Boy's here today with us. And today we're actually going to be doing a comparison video between my 2019 and Big Boy's 2015 right here. Ooh, look at that bad boy. All right, guys, listen. Scott's new truck, it's great. Look at that thing. It's got some serious shine on it right now. Looks like it's got the new car smell. I promise you that 2015 does not have a new car smell. It's got... Sweaty knee pads, sweaty shim pads, nasty gym clothes, water jugs that probably spilled over everywhere, got mildew. Sky's truck doesn't have any of that stuff. But we're doing a truck comparison today because I want to show you guys the practicality of this truck and why it's the better BMX rider's truck than Scotty's brand new 2019 Dodge Ram half of 1500 thing over there, all right? Let me look at it. It's, it's, it's gleaming. But look at my truck. It's, it's not gleaming. But check this out. Scotty truck, you're not gonna want to go do this to it. I don't care. It, it's not affected. It literally loves it. It eats it up. I got the dip peeling off on the chrome down here. I got freaking. Look at. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ooh, I haven't washed those rims since I purchased them. That right there is a serious, serious man rig. This right here is. Just an, it's unnecessary. Enough of just talking smack and sky truck. We're actually gonna do a comparison video right now. We're gonna do some real live comparisons. So check this out. When I open the door, you're about to notice something very, very weird. I do not understand why this is even a thing. It shouldn't be a thing. What is that? What is that? It's a step. For what? What do you mean? Are you really that friendly with Corey Burger that you need to buy a yeah. truck that personally helps him get in? So first of all, it's not look for Corey, at it. dude. It's for me. Well, I, how awesome is this, dude? Convenience of having this thing to get inside the truck for me. I'm able to step on this with my foot. I'm able to step on this one. I'm able to get my truck easily now. And what's cool about it too? It disappears. I close the door. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. That is just stupid. Come over to my truck, check this out, okay? There, there are holes down here, and, and what those are for is R4 running boards like that. People do install them, but you do not need them, okay? Listen, I open my truck, I can get in like this, no problem. Only person that struggles to get in my truck is Corey Burglar. I don't even need the running boards. You wanna know why? Because check this out. I just go like this. That was, that's pretty impressive. This. I just get in there. I don't know how you just put your leg over like that. That's kind of like this. That's how I do it. No running boards needed. Like, let's talk about like the convenience of your truck. Like, go it's over, amazing. Like... Check it out. Ready? I want to be in that seat right now, right? But I, there's this thing. In this 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 center console's in the way. Yeah. Oh, so you got a three seater yep. in the front. Three seater, Scott. That's pretty I can cool. have one person here, another homie here, maybe even two if you want to get real legal with it. <laughs> then you get another person over here, and then I can fit four in the back. Easy, okay. So that's pretty it's a cool. So how many can you see right now? I can see eight if I really want to. <laughs> but seven, I, really. I, I, yeah, but I'm doing eight. In the leg room in this thing, just look at it. It is unreal in here. I got enough to fit proteins. I got enough show to us, fit friends. Show us, show us how the I leg got, room it's, is. It's, it's got, it's not a very visual thing, okay? It's just got to Come enough. on, let's well, see. How you know, I'll show, okay, all right, I'll show you. Check it out. You can fit. You can fit back here comfortably, like no problem. This is beautiful back here. I could, I could do whatever I want. If I wanted to sit here and edit a video, you know, I could do it. I'd have to flip my hat around, but I could do it, okay? There's ample head room. It's it's, it's the good stuff back here. Yeah, it, it really right. is. It's nice. We'll okay. If, well, let's go compare my truck. Seats we'll four like. back here, by the way. Let's go see. The cramp four. But you know what? The, the closer you are, the better your time you're having on your road trip, okay? Let's do that. Let me break this down for you. I cannot have somebody sit next to me. You're right about that. But what I do have is an insane amount of storage areas over here. Storage area right here. I got this storage area right here. I'm oh, sorry, wrong, wrong button. There's so many buttons in here. It's so hard to keep up with it. Another storage area here. And now right here, what's cool about this, look at, I got the drink holder. I got this, I can put my wall, I can put my key there. Boom. Magic right there, man. And Unnecessary got, appliances, dude. 
You call it unnecessary because you don't got it right now. Well, why do you but need you know it? What, what do you get out of that? Meet me in the back seat. I gotta show you something. It looks like a freaking 80s female's jeans from back in the day back here on this thing right now. <laughs> freaking someone got a little happy with a bedazzle gun over a Dodge. Just, you know what? While you're sitting here talking trash, let's just talk about the leg room right here, man. Well, that, look, because you're I'm in there, dude. Go ahead, yeah. jump on it. Go ahead, jump on it. Look, look dude. I'm, it's, look, look, hold on. It's so sure, cramped. My, my knees. Give me the camera. <laughs> my knees are just hitting. Go ahead, put your butt yeah. back. Oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> this is so tight. Sit back. Let's go on. Let's see what you got there. Go on. Oh, God. It's oh. just so tight back here. Man, what do you know? Ah, this is nice. But you know what, dude? If, if it's a little tight for you... If you what is all this? Here. What is all this? It's this a... this takes away from the road trip aspect, what okay? What do you need? If you, you need to charge your phone, your phone we no. got two chargers back there. Do you go? All right. When you go camping, do you bring electronics and you try to run the electronics all the time? No. When you go on road trips with your friends, the last thing you need to be doing is... Is that a USB Type C? Yeah, it is. What the... You, what? You Why do you on a road trip? Who, and then look at this. You can bring your hair dryer or whatever you want. Anything you need right there, man. Unnecessary. You see this? This is a list of everything the truck has. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't. Well, you know what? While you're talking trash right here. What is this? What is yeah, this? I like that you brought that up because I want to show you something really cool. What is this? A detachable rug? Oh. Really? <laughs> really? Is this so you detachable can clean it out? Rug. Really? I don't even have mats, Scott. All right, how about this? You I know, had to go buy my mats. Really my like truck didn't come with mats. The dealership said we, we, we don't have your mats. If we're going to go trick for trick on this one, let's move over to this one. I think you're really going to enjoy this one. What's your favorite thing to bring with you on a hot day when you're going to a skate park? If you're going riding. Right, nice drink. A nice, nice drink. Nice big old jug of water. I like, I like that that was your answer. Let's check this out, dude. Now, at the bottom here, we have... Sorry, it's my first time opening this one, but... That's a cooler right there, my friend. You can't, you, that, that, that yeah, right great. Hold on, here. Yeah, and you know what, if you, if you, when you're done with it, you got some ice in there, you want to dump it out, all you do is pick this thing up, boom, detachable. Dump the ice out, move on. Just putting it out there. So, well, you have anything to compare or yeah, what? Yeah, check it out, okay. I roll around everywhere with a jug of water, okay? And yeah. what this is, this right here, it, you'd bragging about your cooler back there. When you get the AC cranking, the whole back seat, it just happens to be a cooler. And I can fit as many water jugs as I want in there. Since you're so worried about keeping your truck clean because of all the nice black interior and whatnot, check it out, dude. Big dog likes to get down with the old gym every once in a while, you know what I mean? Look at this, look, look what I can do in my truck. Oh my God, will, oh, I don't, it doesn't matter. It literally does not affect me. And not only that is it smells great now. Look oh at my that, God. it does not matter. Would you do that in your truck? No. Would you Would you be able to make a mess like that in your no, truck? No, not happily. There you go. Not to mention back there, if you look closely, I have change holders wherever you might look. <laughs> so those are change holders that yep. came in here? Yep. He's half in the beer right there. In the package deal right there. That's pretty cool. So you can see big boy decided to put the wheels on his truck. You know, he was saying that, oh, what size lift kit should I get? Should I get two? Should I get six? Well, guess what, guys? It's been like six months now, and we are still at stock ride height. Let me show you this one, big boy. The lift kit comes with the truck. Okay, let me start the truck real quick by pressing this magic button. This is ooh, one ooh, thing I wanted to show you right here, all right? Doesn't sound as aggressive as my 5.7, I'll tell you that. Oh. But I'm also 4,000 miles over no oil change, so that's why my <laughs> mic sound kind of aggressive. So this actually comes with a, a pretty awesome adjustable ride height. Now, go look at the front. Go look at the front fender right now. Just take a peek at it, dude. Look at that. You see any magic happening up front or what? It's moving. Yeah, you're right. Mate, do it again. Oh, it's going down. It's going down right now. Just keep an eye on it. It's working all the way down right now. It's going all the way to the ground. What's it doing? So look at that, dude. That is entry and exit option right there. You know what? It makes it even easier for somebody like me to get in and out of the truck. All right, raise it back up again. I want to see it again. Oh, you want to see it raise back up? All right, how about this? I got a bunch of different settings, man. I can get the arrow. I can go for normal ride height, and I can also do this. You know what? We're still raising currently. It's, it's saying it's still raising, so keep an eye on that front fender, man. Look how much higher that one's going. Why is it going so high? Convenience, man. How much lift is that? I don't know. More than you got. <laughs> Get ready for the ultimate inner interior design experience. Okay, check it out. Full turn one way, full turn the other way. Drive, neutral, reverse, park. Okay, do it real quick, right into drive. Do it real quick, right into park. I got a shifter right here. I can shift between first and all the way up to sixth gear because we got a six speed automatic transmission up in this bad boy. 
horn's extra loud. I got cruise control, I can raise my cruise control. And if I wanna do the volume, I always have to reach over here out of the way because there's nothing on the steering wheel to put the volume up with. I got the parking brake right here. I'll put that back in right now, okay? Check it out, I got all my light dials over here. I got my mirror right here that is detachable and it's very flimsy, but it gets the job done quite nicely. I got my mirror, well, I don't have a mirror, but the passenger, the passenger, <laughs> my mirror. the passenger's got a mirror, so sometimes you just gotta slide over in the bed seat unit and go check yourself out, either that or, you know, it's 2018, everyone's got phones these days. I'll put this thing down right Speaking here. Of phones these days. So how do you, um, let's just say if you're trying to drive safe, you know, when you're on a road trip and there's a truck behind you that has your BMX friends in there and they're yeah. trying to call you, you know, to make sure you know, we're going in the right spot. Yeah. How can they call you? Oh, well, they just call my phone and I just grab it up my pocket real quick and I hit it. And put but it let's on. say if you're in a state like New Jersey when you're not allowed to be on the phone, what do you well, do? You, well, you see is, you, well, you just wouldn't answer the phone. You don't have a Bluetooth set up here? Mm -hmm. No, because that's it's unnecessary. One so you got to stop the actual road trip and you got to pull over and well, then you have to go, uh, you know, get on the phone legally, right? Legal, legally, you'd have to, yeah, you'd have to pull over. But I mean, speakerphone's wonderful these days, and it's got this, this right here. If I didn't have such a big phone, that's where my phone would go. That's where I would do. Or what I've noticed is this infotainment center right here. Yeah. It's it's not very. It lacks. It, I will admit so. It's myself. It lacks. But it's such an easy adjustment. So look at this. We're in the road trip right now. We're going down the road. All the boys in the back. You know, I'm not really gonna be focusing on this. Wow. Is it add on a Scotty Kramer video on right now? You should definitely should not skip that. But you're driving down the road and you're just low and doing your thing. Everyone's enjoying the screen right now. You know, sometimes you might hit a bump. It might fly off real quick. But since I have this cord, it, it this thing holds in quite nice. I'm about to blow your mind. Okay? Okay, we can't play we can't play too much because you know what we might we might get copyrighted but I'm gonna pick a song right now that really gets the bass going yeah so all I gotta say is my infotainment center is amazing um, the speakers quick, are amazing uh, I noticed that my phone was a little bit low my phone was a little low can you uh, charge my phone yeah gotcha. but isn't your phone low too yeah. Uh, what if we run out of juice? Um, one of, you know, you only phone. on a road trip with a bunch of boys. Only one of you guys needs the phone to survive. You just not like so, everyone. Oh, what you is only this? Have one charger? Yes. Okay. So it's well, only one you... cable. Well, all right. We'll remember that whole uh, phone charging thing. So let's go take a trip over to my truck. And we'll Listen, talk about Scott. It. I don't care about your phone charging situation. When you're on a trip, your friends. Not everyone's got to be on their phones. Okay. It's 2018. Everyone's right. always so worried about what they're posting on Instagram. I mean, if you want to go follow, like, and post, and comment on everything that we ever do, I'm like mine, Scotty's, Maddie's, everybody's. You know, just go follow, do that now. But it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like phones are just they're just dumb. But you all should. Right, I'll remember that. Let's go cruise over to my truck. All right, well, welcome to the 2019 Ram over here, guys. I'm not going to go fully into it, you know what I mean? I'm just going to show you guys what you need to know. Big boy, you're probably pretty warm. It's pretty warm, yeah, right? it's really it? hot in here. All right, let me just touch the black adjust, interior you know, and whatnot. Let me just adjust this uh, beautiful screen right here. Yeah, what is this thing, dude? It's, it's the future. Put a freaking Apple iPad in here? It's the future, man. Welcome. How's your butt feel? You're probably all butt sweaty, aren't you? Yeah, right I got now? some Don't worry, dude. I got, I got you. Butt. Let me just go put your uh, your vented seat on high right now. Is that heat or that's air? That's an air right there. You got heat too, If you want the heat, I can do that. No, I don't you, want the heat. I wouldn't oh, suggest wow. it on a day like this. Okay, I see. I'm going to put mine on as well. Look at that. You're never getting lost. There's not a chance of getting lost on a road trip. Wherever you want to go right here, go to online search, dude. And we'll pop that in there and I will take you there. Is this that's thing got Wi Fi? You want the Wi Fi? I got, I got mobile Wi Fi for you. Wi Fi hotspot. Boom, right there, just like that. But you know what's also really cool about this? Let's just say you want to figure out what's going on behind you. At all times, you can go and check the back of the car and you can actually see where this thing is going. Very cool. So you, you gotta know when someone's about to rear engine, is that what you, you think? You can figure out I'd rather just have it happen on accident and not for that. Now the one thing I was talking about while we were in your truck, you know, I was saying, you know, where's your other cable so we can both charge our phones. So here's the situation, man. I noticed that you were a little low. Where's your where's your phone at? I'll take I that real you, quick. I got you. Yeah, I can, I can use a little power right now. We'll use Big Boy's phone. He's charging right now. But you know what? What am I gonna do, right? That's probably what you're wondering. I'll just take this and I'll just go and put this in this reserved little area right here. Guess what? Wireless phone charging. That's the future. I don't see it charging. Oh, what? Well, there you go, dude. Wireless phone charging. It's official. Yeah, well, you know what, dude? I, I just wanted to show you the basic couple things here. So uh, let's go move on to the next channel. Oh, weird. Candy shop's on again. Let's see how it sounds in here. That's nice. That's good, man. That's actually real nice. It's got surround sound. All right, I'll give it to you, Scott. I think you've won the interior challenge, okay? Un again, interior is unnecessary. It's all just for luxuries. But I think I really have something that's going to test to see who's got the better truck for BMX now.
Mm -hmm. Alright, as you know here on the channel, this is a BMX channel, okay? We both have trucks because we both ride BMX bikes and we like to load up with our friends. You got Scotty's truck right here and then you have my truck right here. I can fit a heck ton more bikes in my truck, guaranteed, than Scotty can fit in his truck. And I'm going to show you guys right now. So I guess I'm going to be starting this one off and, uh, you know, here, let me just show you this little feature. Pulling the tailgate down, that's so old school. Tell me they took every bit of manhood out of this truck right now. Yeah, just step back away real quick. Dude, they just took every bit of manhood away from your truck right there that is part of the thing right there you got to feel the work dude you got to unlatch that latch you got to load the bikes up it's part of getting to the spot whatever dude Let's start with the ugliest bike first so we can get this one in there done and dusted so people don't see me loading this one up look at the bush bike trying to load this thing in. it's got a flat tire there we go this is the second ugliest bike which is maddie's bike my goal for this one is to fit as many bikes as i can riders Five bikes comfortably for five riders. Now grabbing the world's ugliest BMX bike in all of BMX. No, no, that's not it. No, no, that's what not. Are you talking about, that's right? no, 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 no. That's not the ugliest Scotty Kramer bike grabbing by Scotty Kramer. The old swing over here. All right, that's three, dude, and I'm not seeing two more bikes fitting in here anytime soon. Oh, really? Grabbing the world's ugliest bike. Oh, uh, that was the bike I was talking about before. There you go, you found it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you sorted it all out. Ooh, man, it's getting tight in there, dude. It's fine. All I gotta do is get five in here. I got five people, right? Yeah, you got four right now. Okay, and then a bonus, you know, because we're bringing Big Boy on this trip. What's that, dude? Big Boy Scooter. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't five know. people. I don't know if that's really mine. Five vehicles. I, I don't see any proof that's mine. Look at the ugly paint job. That should be it enough. So I got five rides in there safely. It's gonna protect my paint. I got, I'm gonna worry about any issues right now. Done deal. So moving on to big boys. Let's see what big boys got. All right, dude, five bikes is great and all, but you know what? It's not that great because you're protecting your paint over there. I don't gotta worry about protecting my paint over here, okay? I'm gonna get enough bikes in here right now that you're gonna have to tell your friends to get an Uber because that's how many bikes I'm gonna get in the back of this truck right now, okay? I'm not gonna be able to fit everybody in my actual truck, but they're gonna have to follow along behind us. Just so you guys know right now, I already have stuff in the back of my truck. I got my skateboards, I got tool bags, I got gas cans, I got a lot of stuff already back there. Scotty's truck was bare bone clean with the Rhino stuff on, but I don't even care if I didn't have the Rhino stuff on because I'm gonna throw all the bikes in there no matter what. Check this out. So how many guys in here right now? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I believe. Two skateboards, one scooter, one gas can, one tool bag full of shoes, pads, extra set of bars. Yeah, right, we get the point, but does the tail get closed? Check it out, Scott. Will it, on, on today's episode of Scotty Kramer, will it shut? It shuts. That's pretty good. You know All right, guys, that concludes our comparison right here. I'm going to go out there and say it. Big Boy's truck is a perfect one for a BMX rider. You can do whatever you want with it. Big Boy loves having his truck because he has zero cares when it comes to driving that truck. He just gets in it, throws whatever he needs to or sporadically all over the truck, and he just continues on, and that makes it the perfect BMX truck. My truck, on the other hand, it's got truck features. You could do truck stuff with it, but it also has luxury amenities. And that's the reason why I waited for this truck to come out because this truck is awesome. It's seriously one of the coolest trucks I've ever seen in my life. Glad I finally got it. But hope you guys don't miss my white truck too bad. And the new black truck is here to stay. So uh, I kind of want to black out the front though a little bit. What do you think? I agree. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. And until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Peace.